been slaving all day. You've been breaking your back all day. You've been squeezing out blood, sweat, and tears all day for you to lay in this bed right now, in this bed of misery, in this bed of, wor wor of worry, in this bed of despair, in this bed of sorrow, in this bed of desperation, in this bed of destruction, in this bed of anxiety, in this bed of depression. You've worked too hard. I dare you to rest. I dare you to rest in the Lord tonight. I dare you to allow your mind to rest. I dare you to allow your heart, allow your heart to be free. I dare you. What's up, Washington Squad? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Today, y'all, I am by my, whew, by myself, you guys, by myself. It's been a long time since y'all got me by myself. Normally, I'm always here with somebody. But today, you guys, this is just going to be us, just very intimate. Um, the uh, thumbnail probably looked like it was more stuff here because you already know I had to divvy up the food and um, disperses amongst my household or whatever. But um, this is Waxing with Donisha, and I ain't came to play. I'll be waxing every day, different foods, different ways. If you're new, well, hit subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Don't be shy. Come along for the ride. Why? Because this is the Waxer Squad. The Waxer Squad. The Waxer, Waxer, Waxer Squad. Yes, honey. So, Father, thank you so much for this meal, oh God, that I am about to receive, Lord. Thank you for the hands that have prepared it, Father. Lord, I ask that you take out all impurities, Lord, and that you will add a blessing to every single one of our new followers, our subscribers that are watching. In Jesus' name, amen. So today, you guys, I really have not came to play. Mm. So, this is kind of like a three bean I made homemade with barbecue sauce some other spices um and um peppers mm -hmm. and then I got some rolls there and then I got some ribs y'all these are St. Louis I made these homemade. Mm. Mm. So good. Um, today, you guys, excuse me. Today, y'all, I just want. to express myself to people who need to know that looking for the looking for who's been looking for a sign and for a wonder and for a miracle <clears throat> Jesus told me to tell you that he has already met your needs He has already supplied everything that you could ever need. Everything that you could ever need is in him. And he has already supplied it. God you're not waiting on God. God is waiting on you. A lot of times we think that we're waiting on God. But God says that he's not waiting. We're not waiting on him. He's waiting on us. Ginger tea. <sighs> mm, so good. He's waiting on us to realize our potential. He's waiting on us to realize our purpose. He's 
He's waiting on us to stop caring. Caring so much about other people. And start caring about him. He sent me here today to tell somebody that everything you need is in him. And everything you lack is in him. I just dare somebody to put in the comment section right now. I will trust the Lord. Trust him. One thing I love about God is that I can trust him without fear. I can trust God without doubt. Because I know everything that I need is in him. And he will supply. You might be going through a really tough time right now. I need you to think about past times in your life. When life was hard, when life was difficult. And it was in those times that God showed up and he got you through it. Somebody don't want to hear this right now. They would much rather just watch me eat. Because your faith can't comprehend what I'm saying. But I'm telling you right now. Everything you need, God He's right there and He's the one that's gonna be with you to supply your needs. So right now, I want to put a stop to fear. Right now, fear, I'm looking you dead in your eye and I'm telling you that you're a liar. You will not steal the hope that lies on the inside of God's children. You will not steal purpose. You will not steal favor. In Jesus name. Fear you're a liar. You are not received. I worked so hard yesterday. And when I got time to get ready to go to bed, I laid on my bed and my mind wanted, started thinking. I started thinking about things. And you know how your mind will sway and think about certain things. And when you think about certain things more than others, you'll get these, your, you'll start feeling these outer, these, you know, the emotional reactions or whatever, or chemical reactions, you know, in the form of fear or anxiety or depression or sickness or sadness. And so, like... I noticed that 
fear wanted to rear its ugly head. And I told myself, I said, uh-uh. I did not do all of this work today. Work my hardest. At everything that I was doing, I worked so hard. I did not work this hard just to come and get ready to lay down and rest and not be able to rest because I'm worried. I told myself, I said, I'd be damned if I allow myself to want, allow my mind to wander, allow myself to feel fear. I will lay here and I will rest. I will rest in the assurance of the Holy Spirit. I will rest in the Lord right now. And I will not allow myself to feel fear. I work too hard. So I want to say that same thing to you. You work too hard today. You work too damn hard to lay in bed feeling fear right now. You work too damn hard to lay in bed and wonder, let your mind wonder about, wonder about things that you can't change that are not in your control. You work too hard to doubt. You work too hard to let fear rear its ugly head. You work too hard. You've come too far to give up now. You've come too far. You've been slaving all day. You've been breaking your back all day. You've been squeezing out blood, sweat, and tears all day for you to lay in this bed right now, in this bed of misery, in this bed of, wor wor of worry, in this bed of despair, in this bed of sorrow, in this bed of desperation, in this bed of destruction, in this bed of anxiety, in this bed of depression. You've worked too hard. I dare you to rest. I dare you to rest in the Lord tonight. I dare you to allow your mind to rest. I dare you to allow your heart, allow your heart to be free. I dare you. Everything you need is already here. When you came to this world, you came with purpose. You came with everything that you need. You're a manufacturer before he sent you here. He tested you out. He made sure everything was, uh, was good to go. He made sure everything was good to go. And when you came here, you came here complete. And you came here with a manual, which is the Bible. And everything that you need, everything that you, every, uh, uh, and, and when you don't read your manual, you don't know how to operate yourself. You don't know how to function the way you're supposed to function. You don't know how to tap into your purpose. You don't know how to tap into your joy. You don't know how to tap into your life, the systems of your life. So I encourage you tonight. That instead, instead of allow, allowing yourself to feel fear. And worry. And all of these other emotions. I want you to feel gratitude. Allow yourself to feel gratitude. Be grateful for the air pumping in and out of your lungs. Do you know what it took for you to get here? Going, you did all of this. You worked so hard to get here. And you're going to lay in this bed of pain. When God is there waiting for you to rest in him. Waiting for you. To give all of your burdens to him. God is saying right now, come and lay down all the burdens that you carry. Everything you worried about, give it to him right now. Right now. And leave it alone. And right now, in Jesus' name, 
I come against the spirit of sickness with the blood of Jesus. Anybody battling COVID? I come against the spirit of sickness right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare you to rise and be healed in your body, in your mind, in your bones. I command your bones to be healed. I command your flesh to be healed. I command your heart to be healed. I command your lungs to be healed. I command your kidneys to be healed. Your lungs, your throat, your mind. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. I command the power and the knowledge and the wisdom of God to enter your body right now, to enter your mind right now, to enter your heart right now. A lot of times we think everything is spiritual. Everything ain't spiritual. If everything was spiritual, we wouldn't need, we wouldn't need, there would be no need for us to be here if everything was spiritual. God wouldn't have created mankind. We wouldn't be on earth. God would have no reason to create earth if everything was spiritual. Everything is not spiritual. Sometimes it's the way that we eat that causes sickness. Sometimes it's what we listen to. Sometimes it's who we hang around. Sometimes it's the addictions in our lives. Sometimes it's generational curses. God told me, he said, daughter, everything that you need is all, I already put it here. You just gotta, you, you just gotta, Release it. He says, I'm the God that heals all your sicknesses and diseases. It's called love, love. Love. Mommy, best thing. Like me. Yeah. All right, you guys. So we love you so much, Waster Squad. We will see you guys on the next video. Um, I love y'all. And y'all take care and sleep with peace tonight. Be peaceful. Be restful. In Jesus' guys, name. Guys. Say guys, amen. Guys. Um, guys. Um. Say amen. Guys. Say amen. Amen. Um. Peace.